Bernard is an action comedy thriller. It was directed by Patrick Hughes and stars Ryan Reynolds, Samuel L. Jackson, and Gary Oldman. Once the world's top bodyguard, a now low-level Michael Bryce, is assigned to protecting Darius Kincaid, a hitman who must testify at the International Criminal Court on crimes against a sadistic warlord. Let's jump right into the positive, guys. The action was just crazy. I can't tell you how many times I jumped out of my seat, not because I was scared, but because the action was just so woe to me. It was great special effects, though I had a little problem with it in some spots. I'll get to that later. It was just grand. The perfect ingredients for what every action junkie wants. The cinematography and lighting was just beautiful. Of course, this movie did not take place in America. It took place in the Netherlands and Amsterdam, which gave it a little bit of a different look. That was done really well. The music was really stylistic. It was a mixture of very old school, from what I could tell, to heavy metal and rock. And there was even a song that Samuel L. Jackson performed at the end called Nobody Gets Out Alive. And I did not realize it until I looked that up. You might be able to tell, but I can't tell that it's actually him. Let's get to the heart of this movie. Samuel Jackson and Ryan Reynolds gave a great performance. They had great chemistry. Samuel Jackson plays the hitman Darius Kincaid. He's like the best friend that you could have if you're not on his list. He will kill you otherwise. But if you're not on his list, he can be your best friend. He's your go-to guy. He's got that cheery personality. Samuel Jackson, he's got one of those personas that he plays in just about every one of his movies, just about, that if you talk to him, he's an easy guy to get along with, if you don't mind all the cussing. Ciao, Cerebella. Whose lap will I sit on? Ryan Reynolds is Ryan Reynolds. Or so I hear. <laughs> He plays Michael Bryce, once was the top dog bodyguard, but something happens at the beginning of this that makes him go from here down to here, or so he explains. I was up here, you know, then I opened up to you, why wouldn't I? I was in love with you, and I fucking told you his name. It was the first time in my entire career I revealed a client's name. I trusted you. Now I'm down here. The dead guy's up here. He still does the bodyguard thing, but not as big. So because of that, he's very bitter, very jerk-like. And that's why I think the chemistry works between these guys. They're totally opposite with their personalities. One's like a happy kid who kills people. Well, evil people, so he claims. And the other is protecting people. Even people like Darius Kincaid, like Sam Jackson's character. <laughs> So that's why I think the cameras still work the best. And I'm about busted a gut most of the time when they were on screen. That's where this movie shined. Along with the action, but yeah. And we have the villain, Dukovic, played by Gary Oldman. He was pretty decent up there at the beginning. Right away, they definitely let you know that he's a bad guy. He's a villain. He's a warlord of this foreign country. And he goes to this person's house. And I won't, I won't tell you the whole thing, but it's pretty horrible. The only way for the country to progress is by eradicating the scourge of genocide, blackening our country and our livelihood. But then it sort of takes a left turn. There's a, some some odd year gap. The year gaps kind of confuses me at first. But the character of Dukovic, they kind of watered his character down like right then and there. They went from him being this warlord of this foreign country, this president as he called himself, to like him being captured somehow, didn't really show it. And he goes to The Hague, which is this criminal court, like the biggest prison out there, I guess you could say. But 
like the rest of the time, he wasn't really on the screen that much, but he was still calling the shots. That's why I was kind of hesitant on putting him in the positives, but I've got to because I still thought his character, his performance was pretty good. I like Gary Oldman as an actor. He's really cool. All right, now this is where I got to slide into the negatives. And there's one character I didn't mention. I didn't even want to mention her at first until just now. Selma Hayek plays Darius Kincaid's wife. Okay, when she shows up, right off the bat, I can tell I, I'm not really into this woman. She's really rude. I mean, I've got rude friends, but there's like a line you gotta draw. There's a difference between being a, just a plain jerk and just playing around. And it just seems like throughout the whole film, which she wasn't in it much, so I gotta give the movie that. But her character just annoyed me. There were certain scenes where I felt like they could have just cut out and just suggested but I just did not like her character. They could have cut her character down just a little and just suggested the rest. I'm hearing that they're coming out with a sequel called The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. Judging by the title's name, it's going to be a revolving around her. I'll kind of dread that a little bit, but hopefully I can get past it. I'm pretty sure I will. And also, like I said about the effects, although I put them in the positives, there were certain scenes where you'd see a car explode and it looked cartoonish. Just something about it, it just looked a little bit cheesy and cartoonish. Just the way the fire would roll out, plus the blood splatter when they would shoot somebody, the blood would look fake. I take it they used CGI blood and that's never really a good idea. If you want to look blood look real, give the stunt people like something to wear that'll squirt out. They do it all the time. I don't see why they feel the need to have to digitize blood. That's never a good idea. It always looks fake. They just need to stop it. True, true. In closing, folks, this was a fun film. It was great action, awesome special effects, though could have been improved a little bit. It was a real fun ride, and I suggest it to any action junkie out there. I'm giving The Hitman's Bodyguard an A-. minus. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, get reputized, tell your friends. What did you think of this film? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more reviews and videos coming soon to a computer screen or a cell phone near you. Peace to rip out.